Hello everyone. My name is Anne. I'm the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center Interventional Pulmonology Fellow. Uh, first of all, congratulations to all of you to have the interview um, in MSK. And um, I was in your situation last year and I also have had a lot of questions and I feel like um, discussing with a fellow provides um, me with a lot of information um, in ranking. So uh, I'm glad that I have the opportunity to talk to you um, today. I'm going to try to answer some of the questions that um, me uh, personally had last year. Um, okay. First of all, the thing that I love about MSK is the procedure volume. Um, I would say that this is a super good uh, airway center. Um, this center is um, the second best cancer hospital in the United States, so you can imagine that um, all the complicated cancer patients um, move to MSK for treatment. So. Here we see um, the craziest um, airway um, diseases um, around the, the area. Um, so me personally, um, within the first two months, I have nailed down um, almost 25, yeah, 25 cases of the rigid bronchoscopy, and also um, I have almost 40 cases of um, robotic bronchoscopy as well. Um, I also have plenty of cases of of um, pleuroscopy, and um, on top of that, um, you know, um, the Y stand is the um, the procedure that um, IP fellow uh, really crave for, and so far I've had um, seven Y stands um, within just two months. So um, just those quick numbers can show you that. This center is um, great for IP procedure in general, and um, I won't regret my decision um, to choose my uh, to choose MSK as my training program. Talking about the uh, yes, MSK we do not do COPD, lung volume reduction, um, bronchoscopic um, procedures. However, we do. Um, endobronchial valve for um, persistent air leak, and uh, we also do um, bronchoscopic glue uh, as well. And um, uh, I believe that um, uh, the attendings are open for me um, to do um, outside rotation um, in this kind of um, area that I feel that I would miss on. Um, however, um, keep in mind that. Um, Instead of the nine disease, we have a lot of malignant um, uh, airway complicated diseases. And if you are a master of um, those complicated disease, um, I think you should be able to handle um, other um, benign diseases as well. Um, and um, I do also have cases with um, like bronchostenosis from anastomosis. I do have. Um, bronchopleurofistula cases, um, I, I do have those cases um, that's here. And um, and so, um, so far I haven't felt like I have missed out on a lot, to be honest with you, or anything significant. Um, but um, that is something that I'm sure that you would have a question about. Um, and I can assure you that so far I think I'm, I'm okay. Uh, team IP usually consists of me, uh, one or two pulmonary fellow, and one NP. Um, sometimes I don't have an NP, sometimes I do. Um, so we do procedures in the procedure room and consult as well. Um, the, the procedure number is usually um, five to seven procedures that we do daily and it is shared um, between um, us, um, the IP fellow and pulmonary fellows, and um, I am the one that assigned the procedures um, for um, the other fellows. And um, I usually, I usually um, have about uh, four or five procedures in general per day. Um, it is technically busy, but it's not overwhelming per se. Um, 
technically because you have to see console as well um, with doing the features, so technically it's busy. But it's nice that um, when you see console, so you can kind of tell um, how your patient is doing before and after your procedure. So that is, um, I think, it's beneficial for um, clinical training, um, in my in my opinion. Talking about timing, I usually come in um, at around 6.15 or 6.30 a.m. and um, I, uh, I see my inpatients and then I, um, I get ready for my procedures and I usually mm -hmm. leave around, I would say, 8 um, p.m. at night um, because I wanted to review the cases in the morning. Um, and see what the plan would be, um, what's the reason for the procedures, and I, I also assign the work for the fellow for the next day, and the procedures for the fellow for the next day, so um, just to get ready for the next day, so that's why sometimes I leave um, 8 to 9 p.m. Um, in the weekend, uh, in the weekend, I have to work every other weekend, and um, and the weekend is lighter because I don't have to do um, many procedures. I just have to follow up with my IT patient. And um, the call schedule would be um, usually I'm on call for seven days and then uh, I'm off um, and then um, I'm on call again. A lot of people are worried about the cost of living. Um, for me, it wasn't a big issue because um, MSK is very good with providing housing for fellows um, and trainees in general. And I got a Riverview apartment that's very close to the, ho the hospital. I walked just five minutes and um, it's a lot cheaper than the price of Manhattan um, uh, apartments in general. It's basically about uh, only about 30% of what um, they pay me here. Um, as the PGY7, so it is actually pretty good. Um, um, this is a one-year fellowship, right? And I'm trying to get as many as procedures as possible, and so um, clinical research becomes my second um, priority right now. Um, however, I still have about um, three projects that um, potential um, ongoing, and um, here uh, the attendings are pretty active about doing research. Um, they actually um, one of the centers that have the highest robotic bronchoscopy in the country, and they just published a recent cohort study of um, uh, hundreds of patients with um, um, lung nodule biopsy um, using the um, robotic bronchoscopy. And so um, there are a lot of active projects going on with the robotic bronchoscopy part. And um, on top of that, um, they also have um, a few other projects going on for with, with like the stent and um, um, or all the um, lung cancer um, populations as well. So. Um, the attending in general, they are supportive, and so if you have any idea, um, they willing to help you, um, to guide you through it. And so it's just a matter of you getting well organized and well planned um, in, order, in order for you to be productive this year. Um, if you wanted to do research, my, um, uh, my best advice for you is before you match your IP, trying to get yourself doing um, some short um, research if possible um, because when you get into IP, it's going to be um, a little hard at the beginning of the year um, to, to be able to do um, clinical research because keep in mind that you also have your critical care board um, um, ahead of time uh, at the end of the year. So, uh, so that is research. Um, and so, uh, so that's it for now. Um, if you have any other question, don't um, hesitate to contact me. Um, I'm happy to answer any question. I was in your situation last year, and I had a lot of questions, and I felt like uh, the interview time might not be enough for me. Um, and sometimes questions come out um, like randomly um, after the interview. 
So um, keep thinking about the question um, and feel free to reach out, okay? Uh, my email address is nhatan01 at gmail.com if you want to reach me. That's my personal email. Again, good luck, okay?